Hey guys, Cassie Deputy with Deputy Tribe. Oh, I already brought that up. I was just thinking about something and I have a few minutes by myself, so I just wanted to talk about something I was thinking about. Um, I've been encountering quite a few parents lately who have been talking about wishing that their children were more disciplined, had more responsibility, were able to sit quiet for longer periods of time. Um, what else? Uh, kind of knew what they needed to get done and getting it done and yeah that's pretty much the basis of it the responsibility so I've been thinking over it for the last few weeks and kind of challenging some people to try some stuff but the Lord was really laying on my heart that um, the importance of building discipline into your children so what I mean by that is this is my responsibility and I need to do it whether I feel like it or not. Okay? How do you build that into your kids? How do you build that mentality and that character of I need to get this done first, right? I need to do my chores before I play. I need to sit down and memorize my CKC verses. I need to sit quietly for this amount of time and then I can get up and I can do something right or uh, I need to say something but I have to wait to say it okay this kind of restraint and character trait of this is what I need to do so I'm going to do it how do you build that into your kids well they don't just come with that so you have to create um, an environment or scenarios where they can practice that so that it can get built into their character okay so let's think about this. What, how can you build this daily discipline of I need to do my chores? Well, the way you can build that is by every single day, your kids have chores that they need to get done by a certain time, okay? So if your kids are struggling with, they take forever to clean up their room, okay? Or um, their room is an absolute complete disaster because they've taken every single toy in the room out. That's what I'm dealing with with my kids. I'm gonna sit down because I'm kind of tired and this video is gonna be a little longer than I anticipated. Um, so that's what I'm dealing with with my kids. So this is how I've been approaching it. I have them clean their entire room. We reorganize their toys and I put their toys up where they can't reach them. So now they need to ask before they have a toy taken down, okay? So this has built in them when I'm done with a toy, I need to pick it up and then I need to ask before I get another toy. So that discipline of picking up after themselves before they go on to another task, that's what I'm building in them. So I have to set up a scenario where they can practice this over and over and over and over, okay? Your children are not going to naturally wake up, make their beds, brush their teeth, brush their hair, and clean the kitchen unless every single morning, without compromise, you have built that into them. So regardless of if it's, oh, we've slept in late, so we're just going to skip all of this. No, that doesn't build discipline into your kids. You have to create a scenario where every day you're teaching them to do this, to do this, to do this. So I'm working with my littles. Um, so Elias is eight. So I have Elias, Haven, Ahav, and Alicia. Every day they wake up and they do all their stuff. They get dressed, they make their bed, they brush their teeth, they brush their hair, they start their chore. And then they sit down and they start their schoolwork because every day for the last 11 years, I have worked with my oldest kids, with my next kids, with my next kids, and they know what to do every morning. So now I'm working on that with my littles. They need to get up, get dressed, make their bed, pick up their room, and come and be ready for the day every morning. That's what they need to do, okay? If your kids are having a hard time sitting quietly and paying attention during class, like if they're in a children's class, or during church, if they sit in church with you, do you have, after all your chores, after you eat breakfast and clean up, right? Because that's another discipline. You need to clean up your area, bring your plates in, wash your plates. That's a discipline. Do you have a time every day where you guys are sitting down and reading through God's word? so that they can practice sitting quietly and listening and engaging. What does that look like? In my house, when I'm teaching or I'm giving instruction, I don't allow my kids to have things in their hands and fiddle around. They need to give me eye contact because that's respectful. 
It's not respectful when someone's talking to you to not look at them. That's not respectful, okay? So we have Bible time every day. We read ahead for what they're studying in their class on Thursday at church and what they're studying in their class Sunday for church because I read ahead for what my pastor's teaching. So I want to get them in the habit of reading ahead and being prepared when they go to class. So we sit down, we read through the passage, we discuss it, we pull out application, and we pray. So that's a discipline that I'm building in them. My littles, they just need to sit quiet and sit still. Sometimes I'll give them a piece of paper and a crayon so that they can practice drawing notes or draw what they get out of the story. My older kids sit down with their notebooks and take notes, and then they bring their materials to class prepared for the teacher to teach them. Okay, another discipline. But they're learning to sit quietly. They're learning how to pay attention. They're learning how to be bored and be okay with that. So if your children are lacking in these areas, and I'm speaking from experience because I'm dealing with some issues right now. Uh, my middle two have not been taking notes in class, so we are working on that discipline. I want to see their notes. So on review day, we go back over all the stories before review day. And they go over their notes with me that they learned in class. Because I haven't gone over those notes with them quite yet. So they show me what they learned in class. And then we work on that as a, as a family. My younger kids are working on sitting still, making eye contact, paying attention, and telling me one thing they got out of what they studied. So that's just some ideas. Start up a morning routine. Get your kids in the discipline of, I don't come out of my room till my bed's made, my room's picked up, my clothes are on, etc., etc. And then um, a mealtime routine, okay? Every time we eat, we clean up after ourselves. Here's how we sit, here's how we do things. And a routine when it comes to your devotional time because that will build discipline in them. And you can do all of this in like 30 minutes to an hour a day. So that's my advice to you and Jesus is coming. <laughs>